So essentially, there are ethical guidelines and rules for using animals in psychological research. The main ones are the law. First thing first, the law. Psychologists and researchers must uh, work within the law about protecting animals, obviously. Uh, next, the number of animals. In the case that this should be kept into the minimum amount to make statistical analysis meaningful. The social environment also have, uh, has to take into account because social species should be kept together and non-social species should be kept apart. And lastly, caging. Because there's like really um, high, um, we call it high situation, like really abandoned situation where like they tend to cage the animal while doing the experiment. So housing in cages should not lead to overcrowding and increased stress levels. So with the evaluation, uh, the strength is that we can conduct research on animals that we cannot do on humans for ethical reasons. On the other hand, due to the differences in physiological and psychological makeups of animals, animals and humans, it can be difficult to generalize from animal studies to human behavior. <laughs>